Many in harness racing have a family background in the sport. Well, we have the story of a father and son who are creating their own successful family legacy. And they could make Hambletonian history as Team Allen. We're two different individuals, but uh, I don't know how two people could be any closer than we are. It's a pretty empty feeling to go win a race and uh, whether it be a big stake race or an overnight race, and go back to the winner's circle and get your picture taken all by yourself. Um, you know, I like to come back there and see everybody smiling and everybody happy and everybody, you know, uh, enjoying the moment with me. And, uh, and I like to be there in the winner's circle when Dad comes back. You know, it's, it, it's not something you want to do on your own. Carl and Rod Allen are father and son, but they are much more than that. They're a team breeding their own horses, training them, racing them. Together, always together. He's more like a friend than, a, than he is a partner. Um, I don't think of him, uh, I'm proud of the fact he's my son, but I don't think about it that way. He's an individual and he has ideas. I've been doing it for a little while now, almost 20 years, and I come up with a lot of new ideas too, and he's open-minded enough to uh, to, to listen to those and, and we try to put something together, a game plan with every horse and, and every race. Carl got his start in harness racing in the late 60s after he was forced to give up his vacuum cleaner sales business. He had long been competitive though, boxing in the army during the Korean War and for 10 years racing motorcycles professionally. I was used to going into the turns on the racetrack at 100 miles an hour, not 28 or 29 miles an hour, so everything was happening to me in slow motion. I didn't know you could get hurt out there at that speed. So I never had no fear. And uh, I think from that point on, I kind of felt that, uh, that I could compete. Ron also got a late start. In 1979, he quit running a pizzeria to join his dad full time. In the food business, you don't get the same feeling uh, that you get one-on-one -on -one with an animal. Now, 20 years after Carl and Rod joined forces, they have a thriving business. And next Saturday, they could make harness racing history by becoming the first father and son since 1985 to drive against each other in the Hamiltonian. Hopefully this is a year that, uh, that we'll get far enough to, to get in the same race in, in the big one. It would be a great feeling of accomplishment to have gotten two horses that we own there. And then to have trained a son to come along and have him learn to come along to get to that level. That's, that's the ultimate of harness racing. To have two horses in there is unreal. This Saturday, in one elimination, Rob will attempt to qualify his horse, CR Renegade, while Carl, aboard CR Commando, will race in the other elimination. If they both qualify for next week's final, would it make a difference to them who won? Yeah, it would. I want the best horse to win, and, uh, and hopefully it's going to be me, <laughs> my horse. <laughs> it would be an honor, yes. But it would, it would give me more satisfaction to see Rod win it than it would to see me win it. Carl has been married 48 years and is the father of four boys. The fact that the 69-year-old is still racing at all is a miracle. Two years ago, Carl had open heart surgery. I told my family, don't feel bad for me if I don't come out of this because I've lived every day doing what I want to do. I've enjoyed my family probably more than anybody in the world ever has and uh, enjoyed every day of it, and I've lived the way I wanted to live. He's worked almost a lifetime at putting together one of the best broodmare bands and the best organization uh, that this business has, has. People with a lot of money leave buildings, uh, they leave memorial parks as a, a momentum when they're dead. I think that the trophies that I want to leave is my family, my children, my boys, what kind of uh, an impression they make on people. That's the trophies I want to leave, and that's the way I want to be remembered, not by some big building I built or some park that I named. Uh, I, want, I want them to remember my voice and through them remember me. Well, Carl Allen is currently dealing with three broken ribs he suffered in a training accident last Thursday. But Carl spoke to us and said, I used to rodeo, so I've been in a lot worse shape. The doctors don't want me to drive, but I don't pay attention to them. They don't know how I feel. Well, we spoke to Carl this morning, and he said he's feeling a lot better, and he can't wait for that opening whistle to blow. Good luck, Carl. This is the Inside Track.